Hi, I'm Brian, and today we'll be looking at the ACCA P5 March June 2017 past year exam paper. And this video will be talking about requirement C, which is over here. Um, so before we start, let's take a look at our approach to answering a P level question. Again, we have five steps, and um, hopefully, when you watch this video and you go into your exam, you can continue to answer your questions using these five steps so that you don't make a mistake. Okay, and you'll have a good framework on how to answer. Um, so let's take a look at requirement C over here. The first thing that you notice is, again, the action verb, which in this case is advice. So advice is a high-level verb, and uh, you need to have knowledge of the subject matter, and you need to read the content of the question, which is quite a lot over here, and think about how that topic or that model would apply and uh, what benefits it might have to your client. So in this case, the topic we are concerned about is Kaizen costing. And it's used specifically on the booster project. So you need to specifically mention that in order to achieve the financial performance uh, that we are looking for. Okay, so that is for requirement C. And um, before we start looking for items inside here, we're going to do a small revision on Kaizen costing, general principles of it. Now, if you are not so familiar with the principles of Kaizen costing, I've included in the About section below the video uh, two articles which uh, you can read in order to refresh your memory on how Kaizen costing should be implemented and what are its main ideas and things like that. Okay, But just for the exam purposes, let's start with general principles. So first of all, we need to understand that Kaizen costing is a system of continuous improvement. That means you are not going to stop improving your product and manufacturing process. You can compare this to standard costing. That means like um, in standard costing, if your cost is lower than standard cost, that's the end of it. You don't really need to do anything anymore. But Kaizen costing ignores that. Kaizen costing is about we are always going to compare our performance to what happened last period and continually try to improve based on that. Okay, And uh, it's a process of obtaining continuous small incremental reductions in cost and improvements in quality throughout the product's life cycle. Now, life cycle here is important when we talk about Kaizen costing. Um, usually what implementation of Kaizen costing will do is that you will have target costing first in order to establish your cost gap and design out all the costs at the design stage, at the manufacturing setup stage, you know, you're designing your production line. So all that will be done at target costing. And Kaizen costing comes in after production has started, where you make these small continual improvements and hopefully bring down the costs as you go through the life cycle. Think of it, it will have a similar to a learning curve effect, you know, as the costs go down and you improve your performance. Okay? Most importantly, Kaizen costing is a culture. Culture meaning the way people think in the organization and involves all members of the organization to participate and provide ideas to reduce costs. So we might we need to involve everybody, not just senior management, but also the junior junior people and operational personnel who are on the field in how to improve your quality and your costs. So um, this is not the most important part of the answer. You probably need to spend maybe two or three sentences maximum in order to write about Kaizen costing in general because the question requirement is advice. So when it comes to advice, we need to talk about things specific to pit lane over here. So let's take a look at what the question has for us. Um, application to pit lane. Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, my last bullet point here is closely related to the principles of lean manufacturing. So it's related to things like reducing inventory, just in time, uh, total quality management, and so on and so forth. Okay. So there are two main ideas that we are going to look at when it comes to pit lane. The first idea is that the booster project is of quite short duration. How do we know this? It's from paragraph 2, which in this scenario is over here. It's a three-year scheme, only three years. So it doesn't give us much time to implement Kaizen costing. And number two, um, there are many competitor products. And after three years, production of booster will discontinue. So there is an end date to this particular project. Number two, 
currently management does not feel the employees are part of the process on how to reduce costs. We can find this somewhere over here. The manufacturing director is concerned that the incorrect assembly of subcomponents, he thinks that the workers are the problem and that's why he can't start production. And of course, down here, you see that pit lane staff has never been encouraged to suggest any ways to improve the manufacturing process. So how do we start our answer? So let's deal with our first item. The project is of quite short duration. Now, because it is of quite short duration, we are unsure on how significant the gains from Kaizen costing would be during that short period of time. It's only three years. And um, well, Kaizen costing is a culture which gives you lots of benefits in the long term. and uh, But within a three year span, you will have improvements, but we're not sure how much they will be during that short period of time. Um, so you will probably see more of the benefits in the third year, as we know in the question, the third year is where you have significant deterioration in your selling price. And that's where keeping costs low will be more important than ever. So hopefully Kaizen costing can give us the edge in the maybe year two or year three of the life cycle of this product booster. And of course, where would this benefit be seen? We might see it help to reduce the cost of quality in the question data given in appendix 1 and appendix 2, we don't see any of the potential hidden costs like wastage and things like that. It's not included in this com computation, but Kaizen costing would help, especially look for like wastage and the mishandling of the fragile subcomponents, which was specifically mentioned over here in, in this section of the, of the question prompt. Okay. Secondly, we will talk about the culture. Now, currently, the culture is very traditional. They see employees as costs and they are the source of wastage, the source of problems. Um, so that's why I stayed over here. Currently, employees are seen as source of problems, as you can see from the comments of the manufacturing director over here. And uh, so when we implement Kaizen, we would need to involve the employees. We'll be using their knowledge and we'll be implementing their ideas. This is quite a step for management to listen to employees, take their suggestions and implement them to reduce cost and improve quality. So in what areas will we be able to see any sort of improvement? We will probably see improvements in the process flow, you know, in the way they do things. Maybe instead of one big step, you break it down to three steps, you might have the design of the production line might change as production goes on. They might have more efficient use of the labor hours. And of course, specifically mentioned in the question, you have reduced wastage, wastage on the handling and assembly of subcomponents. Because one of the biggest problems here, as you can see, was the misassembly or incorrect assembly of the product. All right. And um, yeah, so that would be our answer. It's quite short to requirement C. In conclusion, what you can say is uh, Kaizen costing may improve cost and quality issues. However, significant gains may not be seen until later in the life cycle. On the side note, although the question doesn't really require it, you might mention if you have time that the implementation of Kaizen costing may not bring very significant gains to Booster because it's only a three-year project. but to pit lanes operations in general because they also have another um, business which they supply to a single customer, their biggest customer, identical and worn out components, they might see improvements in their overall business performance due to the implementation of Kaizen costing. But if you don't have time, you don't need to write that. Okay, so um, that's all for this video that answers requirements C from the questions over here. Please take a look at my answer, which you can download from the about section of this video. And there are two articles which you can also download in order to refresh your memory on how to implement and uh, your knowledge on Kaizen costing. Okay, um, thank you again. And as usual, please like, subscribe and watch other videos here. Please let me know if you have any particular questions and things like that. And as always, good luck with your exams.